Tonight, a Minneapolis mother is speaking out one year after her son went missing in the midst of a mental health crisis. Fox 9's Mary McGuire shares the message his family wants to share with the Twin Cities community about Jake Poe. He loved sports. It's, it's what fed his heart. Baseball, basketball, football. Jake Poe was always happiest when he was playing sports. He was just, you know, a really gentle soul. The 31-year-old beloved son and brother was also known for his caring heart. He was a very simple, wonderful, loving son. But behind his bright smile, Poe also struggled with mental health issues, diagnosed with schizophrenia psychosis in 2020. In the days before his disappearance, his mother, Tally Nelson, knew something was off. I knew something was wrong then. That was my first cue and that his medication, either he wasn't taking it regularly or his medication was off. Poe was last seen on March 26th of last year, and Nelson believes because of his mental health struggles, his case wasn't looked into as closely as it should have been. Follow your heart, kid, and you'll never grow wrong. In the months he was missing, she took on the role of investigator to find answers, even calling on family friend St. Paul Police Officer Lou Ferraro to help in any circle. way he could. When we're looking for somebody, it's almost like looking for a needle in a haystack. With his help, they were able to pull surveillance footage, tracing Poe's last movements near Ford Parkway in St. Paul. Finally, in late February, his remains were discovered in the river near Hastings. He was just super, super brave and strong. He's, he's an amazing human. By sharing Jake's story, they hope to put a spotlight on mental health, especially when it comes to missing persons in our community. We really do have a, a crisis in our society, in, in our community, in our cities, that is dealing with mental health. Reporting in Minneapolis, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.